Righto, tell you the champs. Today I'm going to be reviewing possibly the best, actually, I'll cancel that, the best 14 inch sort of creator slash general gaming to laptop on the market. And is this thing the XPS 15 killer? Well, it is a 14 inch, but if you are thinking of getting that sort of laptop, you want to listen to this review of the ZenBook Pro Duo OLED. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different review because I sold my MacBook Pro 16. Do I regret it? Well, there's a video coming up and is this going to replace my MacBook Pro 16? Well, all will be revealed. Make sure you subscribe so you can see that video. But when I sold my MacBook Pro 16, I lost a lot of the footage of this laptop here. So don't worry, I've tested everything on it but i just don't have all the b-roll and stuff like that anyway this is a 14 inch dual display laptop with oled wharf you can get up to a 12900 h processor that is bonkers for a 14 inch you also can get an rtx 3050 ti so that's basically the same sort of specs as you'll get in the xps 15 in a 14 inch laptop that is much lighter at 1.7 kilos or 3.7 pounds and about 20 millimeters thick and because this has two displays i don't think you're missing out having a 14 inch and then another extra display as well it's actually better and more versatile than a 15 inch having you know dual displays and that main display is awesome a 2.8k oled display 16 by 10 120 hertz again xps 15 60 hertz warrior right yes it measured the claim sort of 550 nits there dci p3 and you also get that second display there which is a 12.7 inch 2.8k ips panel and what's great about this is you get a stylus it's touch display now not every model is but the one i have touch and you can use the stylus too so how much utility how versatile this is for a creator and you can game too right comes with all the ports you want two thunderbolt 4s hdmi 2.1 you even get a usb type a so that is awesome micro sd card reader i would prefer a full size but better than nothing and you also do get an audio jack so that's pretty good the models come with up to a one terabyte pci express 4.0 nvme drive and up to 32 gigs ddr5 so when you think about that creator general use slash a little bit of gaming laptop especially in the windows world it's actually hard to match this one sort of 14 15 inch there has everything you want and one thing that surprised the hell out of me was the performance because i measure in wattage right cpu gpu how much watts can it pull this thing here outperforms an xps 15 it can sustain 80 watts cpu gpu right that is more than a 2020 MacBook Pro 16, which is actually quite good. It is on par, if not a little bit better than the XPS 17 in thermal output there. That's just a Zeus showing their gaming sort of heritage there, that it can be compared to a 17-inch laptop with a vapor chamber in terms of thermal output there. So that means gaming is good on this, better than the XPS 15. You get the fast display right, you have more thermal output, an RTX 3050 Ti, it's not the most powerful graphics card out there, but you'll be able to play any AAA game, no problems whatsoever, 1080p, medium to high settings there. Now that does come at the cost of a bit of fan noise. The fans are loud at its full performance mode. You don't have to have it in that. You can have it in silent mode if you want as well. And then it actually performs more like an XPS 15. So it's good for gaming. It's good for content creation. The utility of two displays is, wow, genuine utility with the stylus too keyboard is good except it's a bit weird because the trackpad's on the right once you get used to that it's fine and the trackpad's fine as well the sound on these speakers really good very surprised there so you're thinking this laptop is perfect it is the top g of windows laptops in the 14 15 inch creator general use sort of bit of a gaming laptops but there is one elephant in the room here it has a 67 watt hour battery and i could get look i had a firmware update it actually improved the battery life it's around that sort of four and a half you might get five hours if you're lucky and i think in today's world that's sort of a bit below par here so this laptop is perfect it's a top g in that sort of 14 15 inch sort of laptop there non-gaming laptops i'm talking about but um that battery life is mediocre at best and maybe a little bit poor in today's environment but other than that this is the top G. And I think four, four and a half hours. I could honestly live with that. And XPS, well, I gotta say, uh, when you put it up against the XPS 15, it looks very good, doesn't it? So yeah, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.